unrequited love, one-sided love, forbidden love. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome. This is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today's question came from my Russian YouTube channel and it was regarding the video that I also have in English where I tell how men and women fall in love. If you did not see the video, the link will be below. But basically I'm telling that there are different departments in our brain that are responsible for sex, love, logic, feelings and emotions. And women fall in love through feelings and guys fall in love through logic. So, and um, I advise that do not rush with the sex. It was advice for girls because the guy needs time to connect his sexual department with his uh, logical department and realize like, wow, I love her. I cannot live without her. And the woman is asking, uh, how about unrequited love? And this is a very good question because all of you uh, know stories. Maybe it happened to you. Maybe it happened to your friends when a guy falls in love with a woman who rejected him. Or maybe it's a forbidden love and maybe they did not even have one day to, and the guy falls in love. So when someone loves uh, a person but the person does not love him or her in return and this might happen uh, with the girls and with the guys so let's talk about unrequited love is it really a love or is it something else forbidden love or unrequited love is usually not about love it's about trauma we all had traumas in our childhood uh, there are no perfect parents, there are no perfect babies, there are no perfect partners, there are no perfect relationship. So we all had trauma. And usually when a child was raised by emotionally unavailable parent, this child will look or will be attracted to unrequited love. Uh, this happens in 99% of all cases. In most cases, it's within opposite sex parents. So if you all grew up in a home where your parent was uh, working a lot and was not physically available for you, or maybe your parent was sick and you could not spend um, as much time as you wanted with your parent, or maybe you had only one parent and the second one was absent, or uh, maybe your parent was spending time with you, but it was functional parent. So what functional parent means? It means that parent was making sure that you had a clean clothes, uh, uh, food, you had enough sleep, you um, did your homework, but emotionally the parent was not available for you. So, and because of that, uh, the child is learning that Love equals pain, love equals struggle. So in order to be loved, you have to earn love. And sometimes a child can do a lot of things to, uh, to see the smile on his parent face. And sometimes a child had to do a lot of things, be the best at school, best at his hobby, uh, do you know best in math, best in all subjects. And then he or she will get parents approval. So in this case, a child is learning within years that love equals struggles, love equals pain. And uh, when we grow up, we are looking for a partner who can kind of repeat our childhood story. So when we meet a guy who is honest, uh, uh, doing something for us, who is nice, who is polite, we feel that it's kind of boring, uh, there is no passion, there is no emotions, but when we meet a guy who is uh, kind of distance himself from us or who is ignoring maybe our feelings or ignoring our thoughts, then we create these emotions inside of us that saying, wow, I feel something, uh, feelings are growing, uh, he is the one, I love him a lot. So um, this is kind of when he tri triggers your trauma, you feel love. But this is not about love, this is about trauma. It's very hard to accept the fact that your parent was emotionally unavailable. 
uh, it's harder when you actually lived with your parents. So if your parent um, neglected you and left the house, then you can say, yes, I did not have a parent and I, uh, my parent was emotionally unavailable. But when you actually had a parent and your father, for example, was working a lot and he was making money for the family to make sure that you have a comfortable lifestyle, it's very hard to admit that he was kind of a bad person because he did not pay enough attention to me, because he did not play with me enough, because he did not tell me how much he, loves, uh, he loved you. And in this case, it's very hard and painful to accept that actually your uh, perfect father or perfect mother who was trying to make money to support the family was unavailable for you emotionally. And my goal is not to blame your parents, is not to blame my parents. Uh, as I said, there are no perfect parents. My goal is just to show you that unrequited love, forbidden love, one-sided love is not about love, it's about trauma. And I want you to realize that if you are in such type of relationship, there is different option for you. And if you realize your trauma, if you overcome your trauma, then you can create loving, supportive, passionate, fulfilling relationship in your life. Um, ask your questions. I'm sure you have several questions about this topic. Share your comments. And if you have a private question, contact me uh, through my email. I will leave the links below. And I also offer private sessions uh, online and webinars. So let me know what's um, your thoughts. Uh, how do you feel about your parents, your relationship? And if you would like to have a happy, healthy relationship, Subscribe to my channel, watch my videos because I release them every day. Share it with your friends on your Facebook, Twitter, and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.